Hello everybody. This is the update on the uh, World War One buddy build. My Fokker DR1 triplane. Uh, we'll do some photo pics here at the beginning. We're showing the, uh, the engine built. Built up that uh, and painted. We painted it with silver and then did a black wash and uh, highlighted it with a little gun metal. And it turned out really well. Really, really a lot of detail to it. Well, for for the kit, anyway, a lot of detail. And it's really going to look nice when it's put onto the plane. Uh, what we got going next? We got uh, started doing the primer on the figures and the inside of the fuselage. On the figures. Oh, there was a horrible fit on those. I don't even know why I bothered. Um, there's the veteran Ron Richtoven there. Uh, smoking a cigarette. Uh, he looks a little cartoonish. Actually, they all look cartoonish. We'll paint them up and see how they look, but I'm not sure if they're going to end up in the final final of the model or not. Um, and we started, we paint, started painting the interior of the fuselage. I uh, painted it with an off-white. And then uh, did an umber wash over to give that canvas color. And for the cockpit, we did the uh, simulated wood painting with several different weathering colors. Um, the compass on top is, is a decal. Um, went on pretty good. We've got the uh, shown from here the cockpit assembly inside the fuselage. I had to use a flash that you can see inside of there, so it's a little overexposed, but, you know, it is what it is. At least you can see it in there for the pictures. I started started on my painting of the prop there. Um, again, several different washes. Uh, I sanded it a couple of different times to try to actually put actual grain into the paint as I was painting it. Uh, a lot of wet mixing on that to get to get the wood grain I was looking for and we got started doing the sub assemblies here uh, and then we got everything in primer we got all the seams filled and we're gonna have to probably do a little more sanding on, on a couple of the seams just to make them smooth there's the uh, prop here sitting on the engine kind of an idea how that's gonna look the grain on the wood well, the prop really shows up well in these pictures here. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Alrighty then, let's show you where we're at now on the uh, the Poker DR1 triplane. We uh, where do we want to start at? We'll start here. We've got our, our figures have been primered up here, so you can kind of see them. Let me adjust the focus on them a little bit. That's one of the mechanics here, so we have to get ready to start painting in. And here's our other mechanic. Focus going here. I still got to do some filler work on him. On the side of the where the back of his hands join up. All right, it's in the shadows. Join up to his uh, shirt, and then we've got. Manfred here. Having this cigarette that's kind of hanging out. And I finished the uh, seam work on him. He's ready for another coat of primer and I just dropped him. Oh well. We'll pick him up in a minute. On the uh, engine, which you've seen in some of the stills. There, we uh, painted it with originally with uh, silver. 
and did a black wash and then a highlight of a of gunmetal on it to bring out the details on it. There we go. That's that. And the prop got here. Let's see. Get our focus going again. We've got our wood grain all painted into it. That turned out pretty good, I think. Here's the back side. And our prop. So those are basically done. We've got um, that's the last picture update we've got. The fuselage we've got. Let me adjust my camera angle here a little bit. Sorry for the jerkiness. That comes from a cheap tar pod. Um, and we've got it in primer. And also, I promptly managed to break the tail off, but I'll glue that back on when we, uh, the rudder, after I get it painted. Because I was going to have to mask it off anyway. That would have been probably been a nightmare in itself. Uh, it's just a very fine, thin attachment point. And I kind of knew I was going to break it off before we got too far into the build. And we also have. Our lower wings assembled in primer, got all the seams filled on them. Same for the upper wing. Got it all, all in primer. Seams have all been filled. Still have to do a little bit of on the fuselage. I don't know if it will show up. Just a touch of sanding here on the bottom. There's still just the slightest hint of the seam. The one more coat would hit with the sandpaper ought to do that and take care of that, but the seam on top is gone. So we're ready, ready to start painting those parts. And I also got all the rest of the bits and bobs that are all also in primer. I won't drag them all out, but there's the engine cowling, the landing gear struts, little drag, uh, wing tip drag to keep it from busting the wing. I got the little wing that goes between the, in the landing gear, it's all primered. So, we're pretty much do a little bit of light sanding here and there so to make sure all the seams are gone. And we'll be ready to start start painting this bad boy in the next day or so. I hope you didn't like the picture scene so far and this is this is a total dinosaur of a kit. It says, uh, the tool marked inside said it was from 1952, which would make it 64 years old. But on one of the, on the, uh, what was it, the lower wing, there was another, another tooling mark that said 81. So I'm assuming in an 81, but they went, it was the last time that they went in and, clean, and touched up and cleaned up the tooling on it. Um, be using easy easy line for the rigging when we get that far and uh, it's gonna turn out pretty good not bad for a $12 kit so that's it for the update on the uh, YouTube modeler is World War one buddy build and I hope everybody enjoys what they're seeing so far and on my build and on everybody else's build and we'll see you in the next video thanks